to everyone on YouTube. This is Lachlan Thomas, better known as Lachlan T1984. And this is a video about my Plex Talk talking book machine that I have here. I have a severe vision impairment and I like to read a lot of books. So I get books sent to me on CD in the mail. These are not regular CDs that you play on a regular CD player. These are specialised talking books known as DAISY books. DAISY stands for Digital Accessible Information System. And essentially it's a talking book standard that allows you to quickly navigate through a book by chapter or by page depending on how the book is created. I'm a junk collector has asked me to put this video up so this is a quick video of the Plex Talk talking book player. I'll show you a quick few features of the player and what it can do. Um, first of all I'll describe the unit. This is a CD machine. Some of the very new Daisy players play books on SD cards. The books can be stored in anything from compact discs to hard discs to memory cards to USB flash devices. So this is the machine in front of us here. At the very top of the machine up here you've got tone, volume and playback speed controls. The ones in the centre here are for volume, these ones are just bass and treble and these ones are just the speed. Then you have a series of arrow keys, which allow you to select the element you want to move by, and then move by the selected element, and I'll show you that very shortly. We have the go to page button, which, allow, which you can press, and then you can enter the, the page number you want to go to. You've got the bookmark button, which allows you to set bookmarks and then go to them. You've got your standard rewind, fast forward, and play buttons down the bottom here. Then you've got the eject button for the CD, the power on button and the sleep timer button. The unit can run on AC power or batteries and it's currently plugged in. I'm going to now turn the unit on here. No the chime you heard was just the machine starting up. And there's no disc in there. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. Volume 14, key 2. I'm going to get a talking book here. Uh, where is it? Uh, that is not the one I want. Where's that CD that I had? I have somewhere here a CD sampler of books. And I think this is it. Yeah, here's the CD sampler. Um, let me just put those back. Um, so I'm going to put the CD in. It's a slot learning CD drive like you'd find on the, Apple, the new Apple Macintosh computers. So we just push the disc in. Disc. And it plays a little chime to indicate that it's reading the CD. Daisy, title, title, six. Total title, six. This is Wheels for June 2006. Wheels is a, uh, a car magazine, and this is a very old... being assigned to the CA... I'll just stop that. This is a very old issue of Wheels. This is only a CD sampler. So... There's a sample of different material on this CD, so we can now select what element we want to move by in this book. So if I press the down arrow button here... Level 2. It said level 2. Daisy books are... Well, you have a number of different levels in a Daisy book. Level 1 is generally... Chap generally level 1 allows you to move by chapters. Level 2 is sub maybe subsections. Now, this will vary depending on the book. Daisy allows for up to six levels of navigation, and this book, I think, only has two. Page. Yes, and now we can move by page, so I can press these numbers here, the um, left and right arrows here, to move, between page, move by page. Time. You can jump by one minute and ten minute in uh, intervals. Beginning or end. That just allows you to quickly jump to the beginning or to the end of the book. Current title, six. Total title, six. This is Wheels 
for June 2006. Because this is a CD sampler, there are six titles on this disc, so we can move back to the previous title by pressing title the left arrow. Five. This is Women's Weekly for July 2006. That's of no interest to me at all. Structured using one level, containing all main headings, including each article. Use the forward or back arrow keys to skip between each heading. Each heading can also be accessed using its corresponding page number. If you are using a cassette, a double tone indicates each new article. If yeah, I should have explained, before this CD system, we had cassette book machines, and I used to have one, I don't have one anymore. The machine I had was pretty horrible, actually. It was a Telex talking book player. It was pretty dreadful. I didn't like it much. If your cassette player has a cue and review for... So... This is Women's Weekly. Beginning of title. This is Women's Weekly. Oh, okay, so what it did there is it actually took me out. It, it actually has put me back at level one, I think. Current title. Yeah, it five. did. Total title, six. This is Women's Title, four. A man's got to have a hobby. On his shoulder. Well, Cliffy... He said. So let's have a look at let's have a look at this in a practical standpoint. We'll actually we'll go back to No we won't. We'll stay at this title. Let's see how many levels this title has. Level one. Level two. Page. Time. Beginning or end. Current try level one. Okay, so this has two levels. Let's well first of all let's set a bookmark here. So we'll push the bookmark button. Go Set bookmark. Okay, and you can see that these buttons here act also act as numbers, so we'll press, we'll press 1. 1. And then press the play button, which is enter. Enter bookmark 1. Set. So now I can easily jump back to that position if I want to. Let's navigate through this book at level 1. A man's got to have a hobby. That was the thing about this house. Like life, it was always changing. Level two. Oh, that's Level not one. Walls would disappear. The night of nights. Chapter seven. Okay, so this is the man in the white dinner jacket saying goodbye. So we're now moving through the book at by chapter. It looks like. Chapter thirteen. No, no, it looks like we're actually, it looks like this book has different sections, or different parts, and then level two must level be chapters. Two. I haven't read this book in a while. Chapter 14. All right, so sometimes you'll have different books that have different parts, you know, part one, part two, and oftentimes... If a book has parts, the parts will be at level 1, and the chapters will be at level 2. It will vary depending on the book, so this isn't set in stone. We can also go jump to different pages in the book, so let's press the page button. Go to page. We'll go to page 1. 1. And then press enter. Enter. Page 1. And we're at the very start of the book. This is a daisy recording produced by the Vision Australia Information and Library Service on the 7th of November 2005. Narrated by Francis Greenslade. Publishing and copyright details follow at the end of this recording. One of the other nice things is I can speed the book up and make it play very quickly. Speed plus eight. Now that's incredibly quick. Can be by the page Slow it down. Speed normal. Though the requested item may not. And I can slow it down too. Speed minus two. The first item on that particular page. Contents. Speed, speed normal, normal speed. Cover notes. Now some Daisy books contain both audio and text. So you can read a daisy book on a computer with a software reader and you'll see the text coming up on your screen or you can listen to the book. Now of course because daisy books are predominantly designed for people who are blind who cannot read standard print 
If you want to read a daisy textbook, you'd be reading it with a speech synthesizer or on a braille display. I can't really demonstrate all the features of this machine just due to limited time I have because I suspect there is a time limit. I'll quickly show you another thing. Eject. This machine can also play a regular yeah, music CD, so you can use this for listening to music. And although the speaker in the machine is monorail, if you use headphones, it actually has very good sound. So I have here a music CD, and I'm going to pop this in. Whoops, nearly slid it under the machine. I went to slide it into the slot here. It's going in. Disc. Music CD. End of album. Okay, so I've obviously... And that's the other thing. When you turn the machine off, it remembers exactly where you stop listening, whether you're listening to a book or a music CD. When you shut the machine down, it remembers exactly what you were listening to. Let's start the playback. Beginning of album. And I won't play too much of this. Send out the jet fighters. So this is... That's very loud. This is a music CD. And we can speed it up. Speed plus six. And slow it down, Speed. as usual. Speed minus two. Speed normal. Normally I'd listen to it at normal speed. Normally I'd listen to that at normal speed. So that's a very brief discussion about the Plex Talk PTN1 Pro desktop talking book player. Plex Talk do make another unit that's a pocket sized unit that uses SD cards. Um, there is another YouTube user and I will put a link, I will um, make, make sure I make a note of it in the video description or I will link this video to it of the Plex Talk pocket which is a, a um, handheld unit. So that's just a very quick review. If you want to ask any questions, you can leave a comment in the comment field. Oh, I'm sure you know how to do that. I'm going to turn the machine off now. Shut down. It takes a little while. Now it's switched off. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video.